In the aftermath of the Peterloo massacre and amid calls for a parliamentary inquiry, the government gathered evidence to justify the support they'd given the Manchester magistrates and their intention to quell further meetings calling for reform. Lord Sidmouth, the Home Secretary, presented 81 papers to Parliament in November 1819, detailing the alleged dangerous state of the country. The Commons copies do not survive, likely destroyed in the fire at Parliament in 1834, but we do have the Lord's copies. In these papers, we find letters and witness statements from the months before and after Peterloo. They include descriptions of civilians practising military drills, accounts of the day from magistrates, and reports of social unrest in other cities. Together, they make Sidmouth's case for the government's oppressive crackdown. For instance, one of these documents is a copy of a handbill issued by the Manchester authorities, warning people on the 16th of August to keep their children and servants within doors. Another is a report of the day's events from William Hay, one of the magistrates. As you can see, this was written on the day of the massacre at 9.15 in the evening and is addressed to Sidmouth. Hay describes the meeting as bearing the appearance of insurrection suggesting that the magistrates had no choice but to intervene. He even claimed that he witnessed the very grateful and cheering countenances of the town. In fact, they consider themselves saved by our exertions. There was considerable public outrage at the government's denial of any wrongdoing by the magistrates or the yeomanry. Journalist James Edward Taylor published a pamphlet refuting the claims contained within these documents, suggesting that the evidence could have been purchased. Referring to Hay's suggestion that the inhabitants of the city were grateful for the magistrate's intervention, Taylor accused him of nauseous vanity, stating, Never was there a grosser attack, never a more groundless aspersion on the character of the inhabitants of Manchester. 